Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brandon Morris and I'm the founder of Outfit and we're currently at the Outfit Warehouse and Distribution Center right here in the heart of New York City. Today on Inside the Warehouse, I'm gonna be showing you how to crop your t-shirt. And we're gonna jump straight into this. I'm gonna to go to a different part of the warehouse where I got a little more elbow room and we'll get started. While I'm going over there, if you would do me a huge favor, like this video and then go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you think content like this is stuff that you would like to keep seeing. Um, it makes a huge difference for the channel and for other people to see it. So please, please, please. And without any more begging for the rest of the video, I swear, we're gonna go crop some t-shirts. Okay, so here we are, we're ready. First thing I want you to notice is the shirt that I do want to crop for today, it's right behind me hanging. It's our rainbow barbell design. That's a shirt that I want to crop. I am not going to start with that shirt, particularly if this is my first time doing it. What I am going to do is I'm going to practice on one, two, maybe a few t-shirts that I'm not so worried about if I ruin them. And then I can go ahead and use that one. And after we practice on a few, you're going to see in a few minutes, um, it's super easy to do multiple ones after that. So here's the first one. This is my practice slash first attempt. Um, I'm on a carpeted area and I'm doing that on purpose because it gives a little bit of um, texture so I can flatten this out and then it's going to kind of stay in place, particularly when I'm cutting it, which is going to be harder on a hardwood floor or a hard table, anything like that. Okay, so I got my shirt laid out here. This is one of our popular designs. Our Stonewall was a riot shirt. Just talking about how Pride started with a riot in this at the Stonewall Inn back in 1969. I'm actually working it too. So the new one, used one, you can see how it wears. It's about two years old. Okay, enough of that. So here's what you need to figure out. First is you need to figure out your preference. I can easily tell you what my preference is and I'm gonna tell you in a minute or so, but that's just about how it fits on my body according to my preferences and particularly my torso length and in conjunction with how I wear my clothing. So what do I mean? So uh, some female uh, clothing, for example, is gonna sit very high on the waist, maybe even cover the belly button coming up that high. And if that's the case, then how low or how you cut your crop is gonna be affected because um, it's going to affect how much skin area is showing. So if you have a higher, maybe covering the belly button kind of a waist, then you're gonna want a much higher crop to get that effect. I wear mine at or just below the waist, so it's gonna be a lot lower, so my crop is gonna be lower. So I actually like mine to sit in a standing position one inch to one and a quarter inch below my belly button. That's my preference. Um, and then you'll see what that looks like when I have it on. Okay, so if you don't know what that is, all you're going to do is with one of these old shirts is you're going to stand up, you're going to mark where your belly button is, you're going to mark down about an inch and a half, and now you can lay it out. You'll have that mark here, and then you can then go ahead, take the mark from the center, take it out to the side, mark it, and then you can cut straight across. Okay, so once you do that, also let's just remember, just like back in wood shop, measure twice, cut once. Have some extra, you can always take it up. You can't ever add fabric. And that's what you're gonna be learning on your first shirt or two. For me, I happen to know that I like mine to be 11 inches from the armpit. And the reason that I'm gonna measure it from the armpit and not from the top is gonna to be because, um, hey, can you come over here? Yeah, Brooklyn, come over here, please. Sorry, Brooklyn is shaking the camera. Come over here, please. Sit. Good girl, thank you. Um, 11 inches is going to come to that point. I'm not super concerned about doing it from the top down because I'm not worried exactly about how it fits on my shoulders or around the arms, the armpits. It's just gonna be how long does it come down my torso, okay? So if you either marked at your belly button and then took it out, or in my case, I'm just gonna come down 11 inches and then I'm gonna mark that just by a little small cut here. And then I can go ahead and I'm going to keep it a little taut. I'm going to start cutting here. I don't need to be moving fast. I'm just trying to keep nice taut edges, get a little bit going. And then I can just grab in the back here to keep it taut. And then cut straight across. the most important part, so don't feel like you need to rush it. All right, take your time. Because if you rush it and you get jagged edges, that's okay, you can go back and fix them, but it's just kind of a pain. So if you can get it right the first time, and we'll take a look at how I did. First attempt here. All right, that's gone. You know what? I'm 
pretty happy with that. Those are some pretty clean edges. First time through. So that's gonna be my crop, okay? So you'll wanna go try it on, look at it in a mirror, um, figure out how you feel about it. But once you decide the length, I know this is the right length for me, now you can go ahead and do your other shirt. Okay, so this is the shirt that I want to be wearing out in a crop. I'm gonna lay it down. See if we're going to cruise with this process. <laughs> so laying it down, getting it nice and flat. This is our rainbow barbell design. This is a very popular design that we have. Um, this is a tri-blend tee. So all of our tees, almost all of our tees are tri-blend tees. Why that's important for cutting your crop is this. Um, are you going to need to factor in shrinkage? Because if you have 100% cotton, even if it says it's pre-shrunk, um, you're still going to be able to shrink that a little bit. And if you cut it and it's perfect, and then you shrink it, and then it comes up just a little bit too much, that's gonna be pretty disappointing. So you'll either need to know never to wash that crop top and dry it, or just go ahead and cut it a little bit longer. Okay, so the reason that I was saying once you do your first one, it's super easy, is that first one is now my template. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna lay it directly on top of the shirt that I want. So this is super helpful if they're exactly the same shirts. So we use Bell and Canvas shirts. They're all going to be the same cut. So this is actually going to be lining up perfectly. Take a second here and check it out. It looks like once you have this crop, the only thing you're going to be cutting off is the outfit branding. <laughs> oh well. All right. So I got it all lined up. My practice shirt turned out to be good. This is the shirt that I want to do. All I need to do now is cut along the seam. So, I, again, I don't want to rush this. This is going to be super easy though, because I have a template that I'm following. And it's going to be a lot easier for me to have my straight lines and kind of all that jazz. So the reason that I'm telling you the measurements, 11 inches, and the template is this. You know, you might get caught in an impromptu trip to Fire Island or something, and then you want to make a crop on the fly, you don't have your template at home. That's why the measurements are helpful, because you don't need it. But if you do have it, I think this is just the easiest. Throw that away. This can go to the side. I don't need that anymore. All right. I don't know. That's pretty good to me. And so there you go. I got my crop top. If I use my template or I measure it with a ruler, I'm going to take you about a minute or two. <laughs> oh, hello, Brooklyn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> down. Let's take a look at the final product. Again, I think it looked it looks pretty good. Brooklyn, I think, agrees. You can see the front, show you the back there. And that's how you crop your shirt. Hey, I gotta tell you, I had a lot of fun making this video. If you're still watching, hopefully you got something out of it. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more great content that's gonna be coming up. Until then, aim high, be proud. We'll see you soon.